Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Data Analytics and Beyond. Uh, today we are going to continue on uh, Data Analytics with Excel and this is Madhushri. Uh, today's uh, topics are VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, COUNT and COUNT A. Yeah, we look up, uh, we look up as the name indicates, uh, V stands for vertical lookup. And if you want to uh, search any items based on their price or an ID, so here I have a furniture, I want to look up what is the value of that vertically by giving the column number, so it displays it is the furniture. So based on the lookup value, which value I want to see in my table. Uh, here lookup value is nothing but uh, it is like a cell number. So which cell number I want to find out. Uh, thing then the entire array column then range of the lookup till where to where I want to look so if you give that it will display uh, the lookup value what you are looking is for uh, it is for furniture now let us see how it works so I'll check how we look up uh, uh, works that is a vertical look so vertically I'm looking so I want uh, some uh, the formula to be inserted here since we look up is a built-in function I'll type equals V lookup, okay. Select this function, then which value I want here to be displayed. So I am going for any of this uh, uh, laptop. So look up this laptop value. Then what the syntax is lookup value, then table array. So you need to pass the entire array, okay. Then uh, the column index, which column I want to look, whether it is the first, second, third, fourth, seventh. Uh, five six okay uh, sorry it is a column number five so just you need to count which one I am looking this is one two three four fifth one then comma so here it asks approximate match or exact match if it is approximate match put it zero if you want a false or exact match you can put it depending on the conditions so now I'll press enter so when I press enter, I got laptop because uh, when we look at this vertical, the fifth is the laptop. So that it is displayed. This is about V lookup. Next. So this is H uh, lookup. H indicates horizontal look. So it searches the value in the top of the row of a table or an array. So this is the top of the table or in an array. If you return, it returns the value of the column or a row that table that you have specified. Uh, so don't uh, uh, H lookup. When to use H lookup and V lookup. So I've just given a comparison. So when the values are located in a row across the top of a table, so if it is located in the form of a row across the table, then you use HLOOKUP. So when we use the VLOOKUP means which is located, if a data is located in terms of a column, then you use VLOOKUP functions. Uh, so syntax is given, again, the same thing as a VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, uh, I mean which value you are going to look up, table, uh, then the row index. So there we are given the column index, here you have to give the row index, then range of the lookup value. So if we give, the output will be displayed. Now let us see how it, uh, so we look up, we look through the rows and now I am looking, going through the column. So how it works, uh, so just I click on H lookup. So H lookup, click on this, which is lookup value. So I want to look up uh, values of this, uh, I mean mobile, comma, which lookup value I want to find out so that I have to give here suppose I want to know the price so I am passing this entire array here okay let's look up comma then I am pass this array so which one I want to display this column whether I want the product code quantity or the price since this is a price I want to find the price of a phone so price is present in one two three fourth column so that four I am uh, doing here and the range so the range, I want the exact match, so close the bracket, enter. So it just displays uh, the uh, price of the phone. So similarly, I want to know the cosmetics, then again give H lookup. So H lookup, open the bracket, which one I want to find? Cosmetics, comma, which column I want to find? I want to find the price of the cosmetics. So price is present in uh, the column number four. So this entire price, you do it then price is it fourth one so I present a 14 or uh, directly I can press 4 
then I want the exact match. So cosmetics will be come. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, since it is a cosmetics, you select this cosmetics uh, I mean column here. Then price is again four. Then zero. So it will display the price. Suppose I want to know the quantity of this phone. So again, same H lookup. Uh, just I'm giving you a couple of examples so that you will get to know. So I just want to know price of the phone. So I click on the mobile, come up price I want. So price of the mobile. So price uh, or the quantity. So I'll click the mobile. So quantity is present in which column number? So this is one, two, third one. So I have to type three, then zero. So got the price. Suppose I want to find uh, this uh, product code of the cosmetics. So what I will do? So H lookup. Again, same thing. H lookup. Click on the cosmetics. In this cosmetics, what I want to do? Product code. So come to cosmetics. Select this. So product code is present in column number one so i am pressing one zero okay so it will display uh, the uh, so sorry it is actually two so here column number one will change it to two so it display what is the product count so this is how we look across the column means it is h lookup across the row uh, that we use as a v lookup okay so next is X lookup. Uh, so V is used for vertical look, H is horizontal look. So V lookup is used to search across the row, H lookup is across the column. So if you want to ma match both rows and columns together and if you want to find out then we can go for X lookup. So finding things in the table by row actually. Uh, so if you want to look or find out any prices uh, or price of an automotive uh, part <coughs> by number then you can go for X lookup. The if the match if there is a match it will returns a first match in it, whatever it finds and if there is no match then it will result the uh, I mean return the closest approximate match so whichever is uh, closest to that it will look so this is the uh, I mean syntax X lookup uh, coming to X lookup some version of Excel will not support this uh, function so no need to worry you if you are clear with the syntax you can go ahead. So few version of Excel will support and few version will not support uh, this XLOOKUP. So we are into H look, uh, XLOOKUP function. See, uh, when I tap XLOOKUP, uh, this, actually this function is not available in my uh, version of Excel. So just I try to show you, uh, in your system it may work. So just select which one I want to look. And the entire uh, category, uh, I'm just trying to do this. Then which match exactly you want to look into uh, the row match. So for me it will not display because uh, the function next lookup is not supported in my uh, version. But you can try it in your uh, version. It will definitely fetch the value of x. So next is a count uh, function. Uh, actually count is very easy. Uh, so it just counts how many uh, number of profits or uh, whatever it is depending on the uh, range that we have given or the conditions that we have given. So it just counts the number of cells that contains the number. Means the cells which contains the number, it will just count and tell us how many rows or how many columns are there. Okay, just we'll see that how it works. Uh, here is a count function. Just I'll try equals. So count, then open bracket. Uh, then I want to count this many rows or this many columns. So I want to count the shoes of approximate prices. So I'll just select this array. So excluding blanks, it counts the number of uh, I mean cells that have, uh, that have the number. That means where you are, data is present. If the data is not there, it will exclude that and it will count how many uh, cells have the data. So that is count. Then count a is a function that counts the number of cells that are not empty in a range, which are not empty. So uh, it's just, uh, if you see these things are empty, which are not empty, it will take and it will just count how many cells are not empty. So we'll go and check there. Uh, this is a count a function. So just I'll type equals count a, okay. Count a, 
So I'll just count how many cells are empty. So I'll just displace that. So four is filled with the data. Then one more uh, function we have count blanks. So count blank function is there. So it will just tell how many uh, I mean rows or a column which is blank. So how many are blank? Right now we have uh, one blank. This is this cell is blank. So it shows that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all for today. Hope this video finds you uh, good and informative. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe and post the comments for better improvements. And uh, please do uh, subscribe my channel that is data analytics and beyond. Uh, I have given the reference of my channel. Please do like, share with your friends. Thank you so much.